Goldbach's conjecture is one of the oldest and best-known unsolved problems in number theory and all of mathematics. It states, every even integer greater than 2 can be expressed as the sum of two primes. The conjecture has been shown to hold up through 4 times 1018, but remains unproven despite considerable effort. Gold batch number. A gold batch number is a positive integer that can be expressed as the sum of two odd primes. Since 4 is the only even number greater than 2 that requires the even prime 2 to be written as the sum of two primes. Another form of the statement of Goldbach's conjecture is that all even integers greater than 4 are gold batch numbers. The expression of a given even number as a sum of two primes is called a gold batch partition of that number. The following are examples of gold batch partitions for some even numbers. 6 equals 3 plus 3 8 equals 3 plus 5 10 equals 3 plus 7 equals 5 plus 5 12 equals 7 plus 5 100 equals 3 plus 97 equals 11 plus 89 equals 17 plus 83 equals 29 plus 71 equals 41 plus 59 equals 47 plus 53 the number of ways in which 2n can be written as the sum of two primes is 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 2, 3, 2, 4, 4, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, 5, 4, 3, 5, 3, 4, 6, 3, 5, 6, 2, 5, 6, 5, 5, 7, 4, 5, 8, 5, 4, 9, 4, 5, 7, 3, 6, 8, 5, 6, 8, 6, 7, 10, 6, 6, 12, 4, 5, 10, 3. Origins. On the 7th of June 1742, the German mathematician Christian Goldbach wrote a letter to Leonhard Euler in which he proposed the following conjecture. Every integer which can be written as the sum of two primes, can also be written as the sum of as many primes as one wishes until all terms are units. He then proposed a second conjecture in the margin of his letter. Every integer greater than 2 can be written as the sum of 3 primes. He considered 1 to be a prime number, a convention subsequently abandoned. The two conjectures are now known to be equivalent but this did not seem to be an issue at the time. A modern version of Goldbach's marginal conjecture is Every integer greater than 5 can be written as the sum of 3 primes. Euler replied in a letter dated 30 June 1742, and reminded Goldbach of an earlier conversation they had, in which Goldbach remarked his original conjecture followed from the following statement Every even integer greater than 2 can be written as the sum of 2 primes which is, thus, also a conjecture of Goldbach. In the letter dated 30 June 1742, Euler stated, Das Einjeder numerus bar eine summa duorum primorum se, halter ich für ein ganz gewisses theorema, ungeachtetik das Obnick demonstrieren kann. Goldbach's third version is the form in which the conjecture is usually expressed today. It is also known as the strong, even, or binary, Goldbach conjecture, to distinguish it from a weaker corollary. The strong gold batch conjecture implies the conjecture that all odd numbers greater than 7 are the sum of 3 odd primes, which is known today variously as the wick gold batch conjecture, the odd gold batch conjecture, or the ternary gold batch conjecture. While the weak gold batch conjecture appears to have been finally proved in 2013, the strong conjecture has remained unsolved. Verified results. For small values of n, the strong gold batch conjecture can be verified directly. For instance, Nils Pipping in 1938 laboriously verified the conjecture up to n105. With the advent of computers, many more values of n have been checked. T. Oliveira E. Silver is running a distributed computer search that has verified the conjecture for n4 times 1018. 
One record from this search is that 332558170733396052828 is the smallest number that has no gold batch partition with a prime below 9781. Heuristic justification. Statistical considerations that focus on the probabilistic distribution of prime numbers present informal evidence in favor of the conjecture for sufficiently large integers. The greater the integer, the more ways there are available for that number to be represented as the sum of two or three other numbers, and the more likely it becomes that at least one of these representations consists entirely of primes. A very crude version of the heuristic probabilistic argument is as follows. The prime number theorem asserts that an integer m selected at random has roughly a chance of being prime. Thus if n is a large even integer and m is a number between 3 and n, 2, then one might expect the probability of m and n minus m simultaneously being prime to be. If one pursues this heuristic, one might expect the total number of ways to write a large even integer n as the sum of two odd primes to be roughly since this quantity goes to infinity as n increases. We expect that every large even integer has not just one representation as the sum of two primes, but in fact has very many such representations. This heuristic argument is actually somewhat inaccurate because it assumes that the events of m and n minus m being prime are statistically independent of each other. For instance, if m is odd then n minus m is also odd, and if m is even, then n minus m is even, a non-trivial relation because, besides the number 2, only odd numbers can be prime. Similarly, if n is divisible by 3, and m was already a prime distinct from 3, then n minus m would also be co-prime to 3 and thus be slightly more likely to be prime than a general number. Pursuing this type of analysis more carefully, Hardy and Littlewood in 1923 conjectured that for any fixed C2, the number of representations of a large integer n as the sum of C primes with should be asymptotically equal to where the product is over all primes. P, and is the number of solutions to the equation in modular arithmetic, subject to the constraints. This formula has been rigorously proven to be asymptotically valid for C3 from the work of Vinogradov, but is still only a conjecture when, in the latter case, the above formula simplifies to zero when n is odd, and to when n is even. Where is the twin prime constant? This is sometimes known as the extended gold batch conjecture. The strong gold batch conjecture is in fact very similar to the twin prime conjecture, and the two conjectures are believed to be of roughly comparable difficulty. The gold batch partition functions shown here can be displayed as histograms which informatively illustrate the above equations. See gold Bach's comet. Rigorous results. The strong gold batch conjecture is much more difficult than the weak gold batch conjecture. Using Vinogradov's method, Chudikov, van der Korput, and Esterman showed that almost all even numbers can be written as the sum of two primes. In 1930, Lev Schnarelman proved that any natural number greater than one can be written as the sum of not more than C prime numbers where C is an effectively computable constant, C Schnarelman density. Schnarelman's constant is the lowest number C with this property. Schnarelman himself obtained C less than 800,000. This result was subsequently enhanced by many authors. Currently, the best-known result is due to Olivier Romare who in 1995 showed that every even number n4 is in fact the sum of at most six primes. In fact, the proof of the weak gold batch conjecture by Harold Helfgott directly implies that every even number n4 is the sum of at most four primes. Chen Jing Grun showed in 1973 using the methods of sieve theory that every sufficiently large even number can be written as the sum of either two primes or a prime and a semi-prime. See Chen's theorem for more. In 1975, Hugh Montgomery and Robert Charles Vaughan showed that most even numbers are expressible as the sum of two primes. 
More precisely, they showed that there exist positive constants c and c such that for all sufficiently large numbers n, every even number less than n is the sum of two primes, with at most exceptions. In particular, the set of even integers which are not the sum of two primes has density zero. Linick proved in 1951 the existence of a constant k such that every sufficiently large even number is the sum of two primes and at most k powers of two. Roger Heath Brown and Jan Christoph Schlegeputer in 2002 found that k equals 13 works. This was improved to k equals 8 by Pince and Ruger in 2003. As with many famous conjectures in mathematics, there are a number of purported proofs of the gold batch conjecture, none accepted by the mathematical community. Considerable work has been done on gold barks weak conjecture, culminating in a 2013 claim by Harold Helf got to fully prove the conjecture for all odd integers greater than 7. Similar questions. One can pose similar questions when primes are replaced by other special sets of numbers, such as the squares. It was proven by Lagrange that every positive integer is the sum of four squares. See Waring's problem and the related Waring Gold Batch problem on sums of powers of primes. Hardy and Littlewood listed as their conjecture I. Every large odd number is the sum of a prime and the double of a prime. 45 to 47, this conjecture is known as Lemoine's conjecture. The gold batch conjecture for practical numbers, a prime-like sequence of integers, was stated by Morgan Stern in 1984, and proved by Melfi in 1996. Every even number is a sum of two practical numbers.